Hey guys, I'm Shashan Shetty. I've been doing uh, outdoor stuff, making bows, arrows, crossbows, arrowheads, flint napping for a long time now. Uh, my friends have actually forced me to do this video because they want to know how do I do my stuff and how do I make bows and arrows for the matter. So this is the first attempt for me to actually document uh, what I make. So today what I have done is I made a bone knife. This knife is completely made of bone, a single bone. And uh, in this video you will see how I made this. It, this took me generally around uh, four hours to make this whole thing so let's see how it goes hey guys I'm uh, attempting to make a bone knife so I've got this big, big uh, beef shank yes yes I know you wanted to but you're not getting it so I'll be attempting a bone knife with this so what I'm doing right now is this is raw so I'll be boiling it uh, so that I can remove all the stuff from inside all the cartilages and all the meat from here and uh, then I'll start prepping it uh, for the knife so for now I'm just putting in uh, boiling water and just let all the cartilage in the teeth go out Ta shoot oh, hey guys it. we finally managed to remove all the cartilages and uh, the whole thing I've boiled this for uh, around 45 minutes and removed all the cartilage there's still a bit left over here which will be removed when I'm filing uh, the bone marrow inside I tapped it out after boiling it uh, but a uh, lot of things were still remaining. What I did was I took a hanger, a uh, wire hanger and coiled it and put it inside and swirled everything out. So yeah, it's, it's clean from inside. I have flushed it with water so it's it's smelling a bit but other, once the cartilage just goes away it, it will be done. So this is my working thing. The next thing what I will be doing is uh, see the grip because this will be my hilt and this will be the where the blade is. So what, what I'm doing is I'm holding it and seeing what, what angle is comfortable for me. So there you see there it's a, it's a triangle. So one of them will be the blade. So it would not be a curved one either this, this or this will be the blade. So it all depends on which is the right angle for me to hold the blade. Either this way or this way or this way. That will that'll actually define and that will actually help me tell which one to cut, which of the three sides to retain and which two sides to cut. So let's see if, so now I feel this is, this is the, rather this is the right grip for me. If this is the right grip for me, so I, this will be the, this will be the one which I'll be retaining and I'll be cutting these two. Let me see and uh, let so me get back to you. This is what I have done now. I have finally decided that this will be the blade side and I will be removing these two. The reason why I did that was this is more comfortable for me to hold and uh, I can hold it in two different angles. So this being the sharper one I can hold it like this when the blade is down or this when the blade is up. So these are the two angles I can hold it and uh, this thing will be completely removed. I have marked if you see I have already marked it this is after I held over here and that's my point so the blade will go all the way so this will be there the thickness is there through and through definitely there will be a curve it would not be a straight line you, you see there's a gradual curve this curve will make the the knife stronger it would not break otherwise it would not break easily so there will be a natural curve and the entire thing will be a blade the blade will be something around uh, 10 inches in length overall and it will be uh, twin edged so it will be we I'll have uh, enough 20 inches of uh, blade side so let's see the reason why I kept this as my hilt as the back because this is a strong one it's a strong bone and uh, if in case I need to bait in something if I need to hammer something this can be actually used as a hammer too so I can actually pummel something down so that's the reason why I'm not making this as my uh, uh, point and then this is the hilt so I'll just start cutting this I'll be sawing this off and uh, let me get back to you once I saw this off and show you hey, how I'm, it looks like I'm halfway through it so far so what I've done is I've etched out the whole line and it's uh, engraved the whole thing all the way till here now this is exactly how my knife will look in the end uh, I've drawn a straight line but this the bone has a natural curve so I have to go along with the curve so uh, to get the center. 
So this, I was just contemplating which center to put, but yeah, I'll take the center of the bone. as the portion actually I'm thinking of making something out of this also but that's for later so for now this is the knife and uh, it, it's got a very good profile the handle is uh, I still need to work on the final portion the, the hilt and uh, that's the blade so it will be blade all the way till here I can actually put some tinder inside the profile is completely done this will be the bone knife uh, I just have to sharpen it now I'll use a rasp and I'll sharpen the entire thing let's see I have taken something around uh, two and a half three hours to reach to this stage out I've uh, sharpened the uh, bone knife I've sharpened the uh, both the edges I've left this point a bit thick uh, because uh, the, the idea of this knife is not to slash anything but more of penetration it is more of the thrust which we put in rather than slicing anything off because uh, getting a uh, maintaining I can get an, a sharp edge but maintaining that sharp edge will take a lot of time so I'm more counting on the, the thrusting uh, factor than the slashing one Nonetheless, it's a, it can definitely slice of uh, wood, can get me some tinder and uh, it's a good hammer for pummeling anything and, but there's a hole over here which I can, uh, it's hollow, I can uh, put some uh, fish line and a uh, hook, cover it, put a, put a uh, cotton, uh, put, put a cotton in a, as, a, as a cover on it and uh, yeah, this, this is a good knife. It's, it doesn't it definitely doesn't uh, beat your regular knife your metal knife but if you are out in the wild and I have I've made this with very minimal I made this with a, a rasp and a, and a saw so rasp can be used by by creating wood grinding it against wood uh, again sorry against stone and uh, yeah this can be done this can be done in a, in a primitive way. The only thing is, yeah, because we have so many things, uh, tools around, we, we use the tools. Otherwise, this can be done in a primitive way, all by yourself. Cool. Hope you liked the video. Uh, hope you liked, uh, you got some idea out of this uh, bone knife. And I'm definitely planning to do a few lot of th things in the near future. Please like, comment, and share this video if you like it. Bye-bye.